Today, I'll be sharing with you guys the best pro player class setups in MW3. And if you're struggling to make a class, you're going to want to watch this one. So for the first gun setup, we're going to be talking about the MCW, technically the best AR in the game, technically. For the barrel, we got the 16.5 inch. This gives you bullet velocity, aiming out of sway and firing aim stability. We got the Cronin OP44 muzzle. We got the XR Edge hand stop. As you can see, this is going to allow you to give that extra ADS, sprint the fire, movement speed, because this gun has low recoil in general, especially paired with some of the attachments. So this is going to allow it to be even faster. We're going to be rocking the good old Slate Reflector. Now this one, there's a couple options. Uh, some people like this new ELO sight, which is this one right here, the MK3 Reflector. But the Slate Reflector just feels nice. And then for the stock, we're going to be rocking the RB Precision Heavy Stock for the extra recoil control because they did nerf this gun a little bit. And going to the fire range very quickly, you can see this thing is a laser. Shoots pretty darn straight. ADS is fairly quickly, not too slow. Sprint the fire is decent as well. And this is a, an AR that shoots very quick, very fast. TTK is good, very low to no recoil. And it's, I mean, it has it all. So this is why a lot of the pro players and I see a lot of people using it. Next, we're going to be talking about the one and only Rival 9. This is technically the best SMG in the game. And I have two builds. One's a Shotzi build and one is a build I tuned up a little bit. So we're going to be rocking the Rival Clear Shot Barrel. This is going to give you a little bit extra damage range and recoil control. Now, this is a build that has a little bit more range. Let's talk about that. For the muzzle, we're going to be rocking the Purify Muzzle Brakes. This is going to give you more horizontal recoil control, which is very nice and you want on pretty much any weapon in MW3. For the underbarrel, we're going to be rocking the Bruin Pivot Vertical Grip. For the rear grip, we're going to be running the Rival Vice Assault Grip for the extra recoil control, gun control, because this gun has very fast ADS and spread the fire speed, but what it lacks is pretty much recoil control. So you're going to see very quickly how you know this thing ADS is. We're going to be rocking the MTZ stock, which is going to give you that huge boost again in recoil control, which is very nice. You can also run the close quarter assault stock if you want to be a little bit faster, at least in terms of like ADS. And let's show you guys this bad boy in the fire range. So you can see ADS is very quickly, even with some recoil attachments, and it moves very fast still. And you can see why it's basically a meta gun. ADS is very quick, spread the fires very fast, recoil control very little to none. And this thing is a beamer and it's freaking deadly. So this is a class setup you got to try, but we do have another one. So here's the second Rival 9 build, which is actually Shotzi's class setup. And this thing lacks a little bit of range, but it's better up close. And that's what he's good at. But if you can really control the recoil, then it's very dominant. We're going to be using the same muzzle, the Purifile muzzle. We're going to be running the underbarrel, the same one, the Bruin Pivot. But here's the difference. He rocks no barrel and he actually runs high velo. Now, yes, high velo is good for your bullets connecting at range, especially with an SMG because SMGs like the velocity. But the negative, it gives you recoil control, which a negative recoil control, which you don't want. It's going to be the same rear grip and, of course, the same stock. So really, all I changed was I took off the high velo to get, you know, a little bit better control of the recoil. And I put on a barrel that gives me more, a little bit more recoil control plus damage range and bullet velocity. So let's shoot this thing in a fire range right quick. And you're going to see it still has somewhat low recoil control. It's not like it's technically horrible. But if you ever go for those long range shots. Now I know shots is hitting that one. But <laughs> if you ever go for those long range shots, it definitely struggles a little bit. Now, again, that's very far. As an SMG, at most, you're probably trying to shoot someone like medium range like this. So those shots are definitely going to be hittable. But again, this build is very nice, and this is Shotzi's build. You can try both of them, see what you like more. It depends on the type of player you are, too. Next, we're going to be talking about a gun class setup that no one really talks about much. is the MTZ. This is a hybrid. This is very fast, very strong. It's like slightly faster and harder hitting, better version of the MCW, but it lacks a little bit more range. So for the barrel, we got the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel for the extra bullet velocity, damage range, and of course, the recoil controls. And it doesn't take away much negative. We got the Cronin OP44 muzzle. This just gives you a huge, huge boost in vertical and uh, horizontal recoil control. We got the f tac SP angled grip. Huge boost in horizontal. And let me tell you something right quick. MW3 and Call of Duty in general, you want horizontal recoil control over vertical. And it's easy to pull your stick down or pull your mouse down. But it's harder to control that side-to-side -side recoil. So horizontal is usually the way you want to go. For the optic side, we're going to be running the MK3 reflector. It kind of looks like that ELO site, which is really cool. And for the stock, we got the good old MTC stock. So this is what it looks like in the firing range. 
You're going to notice at a little bit of long ranges, it does recoil slightly compared to the MCW. But like close to medium, I mean, this thing destroys. It kills fast. It's a laser, right? So this is going to be a good gun, especially probably for respawn. Uh, search and destroy as well if you're trying to get a little bit more aggro. If you're trying to be like a flex AR. This thing is going to be nice. You're going to be able to take out subs up close, but it still has a lot of range. Next, we're going to be talking about a secret class. It is the Hoger. Now, this gun is actually banned in S&D tournaments, and it's probably going to be banned in a competitive play for one reason. This thing is OP. It's really good. It's very dominant in every way and any way you can think of. It has insane TTK, has really good movement speed and ADS and spread the fire speed, and has very, very low recoil. So this is the reason why it's pretty much banned in a lot of things right now. But you can still use it and you can still dominate with it. We got the good old Slate Reflector. For the underbarrel, we're going to be running the X10 Phantom underbarrel. We're going to be running the high velo because it kind of lacks that a little bit. I think it's due to the slower fire rate. And then for we're going to be running the intruder grip for the rear grip, which gives you that sprint to fire and ADS speed. And then for the stock, the good old RB assault stock. You a lot of times you're going to see the the RB stock being used the first or the first stock in a lot of these ARs. And this thing, I mean, do I need to say more? The proof is in the pudding. Like, look at this thing. I don't even got to try it to feel like I'm instant killing these guys. Inst I'm killing these guys instantly and no recoil. And look at this. Look at this ADS. Wow. So if you want to dominate and cheese it up or if it's not even banned, definitely use this gun because that is the number one. Uh, for the next one, this is called the Simp Striker 9 build. Now, the Rival 9 is pretty much meta, but some people do like the Striker. And this is Simp's build that I tried and I personally pretty like it as well. For the barrel, we got the Striker Recon Long Barrel. Okay, for the muzzle, we got the VP27 mini brakes. For the under barrel, we got the chewed angle grip. For the rear grip, we got the F tack. And for the stock, we got the good old Lackman MK2 light stock. And this thing, I'll say the con, it ADS is slightly slower than the Rifle 9. So that Rifle 9 got that really fast spread the fire ADS speed. This one aims in a little slower. TTK definitely feels slightly better though, especially at range. So that is the one pro about this. So it depends what type of play style you're trying to aim for and do. Um, this thing does have that little bit extra range, but if you're trying to get very aggro and get up close and personal, then sometimes you kind of want that spread the fire and ADS speed like the Rival 9. And can't forget, we got to talk about some of these things like the infantry vest. So there's a whole bunch of vests, but I personally think the infantry vest, vest is the best because it gives you that lightweight boots, that kind of extra movement speed, which is very, very nice. For tacticals, no brainer, stun grenade or smoke grenade if you're playing search and destroy or if you're trying to smoke out cuts. Frag grenade is the way to go, but some people like Semtexes and respawn. Frag grenade more for search and destroy. Semtex more for respawn if you're wondering what to use. Trophy system, kind of a no-brainer as well with Dead Silence pretty much being a perk around this year. But, you know, you could also rock Dead Silence as a, you know, equipment if you want. But don't do that. For my gloves, we got the Assault Gloves. This thing is nice. This is probably one of the best gloves. Some people like to use Commando Gloves. Maybe if you're an SMG, reload while sprinting, which is pretty nice mainly in respawn, um, but these assault gloves are just so nice. While jumping, accuracy and time to ADS is improved. So when you're jump shotting around and jump shotting is viable and it is used, this helps you with jump shotting, which is really nice. We got the covert sneakers, which is basically dead silence. So this is pretty much a must. Again, you can kind of mix it up. You want to run tactical pads as like a super slide and help slide canceling. Uh, these are probably the best two to run in general. Lightweight boots barely helps. And trust me, the dead silence is just like almost a crutch. And then for the last one, EOD is usually the way to go. Um, a lot of times, a lot of these things are banned. So you kind of got to run either EOD or Tack Mask. Tack Mask, yeah, you get stun and flash. EOD will save your life. Tack Mask, you know what I mean? Like, if you get naded, you're dead, dead. And for a secondary, a knife is pretty much the way to go and search and destroy. And in general, this will take you places farther and faster. Now, mind you, you can run a pistol. I usually just run a knife. So that's what I've been using. I feel like these auto pistols are going to get GA'd or banned because they're pretty broken and you're probably going to end up having to use a regular pistol. Guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped, make sure to drop that like because that helps me a lot. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.